A question I get asked all the time is, what is the difference between pitch and resonance? So pitch is related to how high or low someone's voice is. So an example of a high pitch would be like the note G3. The note E3 would be more of a neutral pitch. And the note A2 would be more of a low pitch. Pitch is important in gender affirming voice coaching, but what's even more important is something called resonance. And this is how we can modify the shape of the vocal tract, that's the space inside the throat and the mouth, in order to create brighter or darker sounds. So what I'm gonna teach you today is how you can modify the resonance of your voice, but keeping pitch exactly the same. And so the example pitch I'm gonna to use today is the note E3, which is equivalent to 165 Hertz. And so what I want you to do, it's my cat, Nevi. Say hi, Nevi. All right, so what I want you to do is uh, hum with me at the note E3. And get used to that. So that's the note E3. Once again, 165 hertz. That means when you're matching me while humming, your vocal folds are vibrating at 165 times per second. Now, listen to how different the sound can change when I go from a dark sound to a bright sound, but keeping the pitch the same. And I'll teach you how to do this in just a sec. A, one, two, three, hello. A, one, two, three, hello. So that was the same exact pitch. The only thing I changed there was the resonance. And how do you change the resonance? So if you're wanting a deeper, deeper, darker, or richer resonance, what you want to do is drop the jaw and open the throat, keep the tongue low. So we're going to do this on the sound A. A. I know it sounds kind of silly, uh, but try to match me on this one. So look at what my mouth is doing. Look at my jaw, look at my tongue, and try to listen to the sound that's coming out. A. Can you match it with me? A. So once you get that A down, uh, what you'll want to do is count some numbers. A, one, two, three. So that's all at the note E3. I'm not changing my pitch at all, keeping it exactly at the E3. Now, if you're wanting a brighter resonance, what you wanna do is lift the tongue up and what you can do, how you can do that is by smiling and spreading the lips a little bit and bringing the tongue up. So it will sound something like this. A, A. If you're wanting a deeper, darker voice uh, or lighter, brighter voice, I recommend doing both just so you can build awareness of, of the two. So um, now what I want you to do is with that bright A, we're going to count to three. A, one, two, three. Now let's go dark. A, one, two, three. Bright. A, one, two, three. Dark. A, one, two, three. So basically, what I teach people how to do is I guide them on finding a pitch that feels affirming and authentic for them. So today we did the note E3, which is more in the neutral range, but if somebody wants to go higher on the scale or lower on the scale, that's totally fine. So once we find a pitch that feels affirming and authentic, then we work on brightening or darkening the resonance of the voice through different exercises with how to lift the larynx and lower the larynx, uh, how to modify the shape of the tongue and different vowel sounds in order to find a place that feels uh, comfortable for whoever I'm working with. So some people like to go super bright, some people like to go really dark, some people like to stay in the middle. And so it's really cool being able to guide people along uh, their voice journey and how they can find a voice that feels like most affirming and authentic for them. So once again, to recap, Pitch is related to how high or low the sound of your voice is, while resonance is related to how bright or dark the sound of the voice is. So for more information, feel free to visit my website, jordanrosscommunication.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at jordanrosscommunication. Um, I recently launched uh, some different sliding scale prices that you can check out on my website and some uh, new online courses uh, that are coming out. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will talk to you soon.